Hello, and welcome to this, uh, this um, lecture slash video. Okay, so here's what we want to talk about. We want to talk about patch. All right, so we have been throwing around a ton of terms. We've looked at plot. You've heard about console channels. You've heard about DMX dimmer channels. You've heard about address, dimmers, binary. Oh my God, we've thrown a whole ton of numbers around, and now what we need to do is to figure out what they mean and how they work together, right? So the concept of patch is, is, is the backbone of the show. It is really the backbone of it, uh, uh, the ability for a lighting designer to be able to organize their information and for a console to make the information easy for you to understand and manipulate and and change. And so patch has overgone evolution over time. And what we'll do is let's just sort of start at the beginning and let's see where we can get to. All right, so let's flip over to our friendly neighborhood light plot, right? And let's take a look at, at what we may be viewing. All right, so we have a series of fixtures that we just sort of randomly plunked along the pipe or we put them on the pipe where they were drawn, right? Now, the red circles that are out here, the red circles are actually the dimmers that are allocated to that pipe, right? So this venue has 192 dimmers and it just so happens that the 160s, 150s, 140-ish um, is the range of dimmers that are on this pipe. Okay, so I, I in my world, want to run as short a cable as I possibly can run. And so if I happen to have a light that is right near a dimmer, I would like to just plug it right into that dimmer and move on with my life, right? <clears throat> this fixture right here, for example, is slated to plug into dimmer 163, and dimmer 163 is right here. And so I can probably just plug it straight in and I won't need any cable at all. And that seems great. Now I continue on down the pipe. This is 162. 162 is right here. At worst case, I need just a short little jumper. This is in 161. Maybe I do need a five foot cable or something. But what I want to do is plug things into the to the outputs, to the circuiting outputs that are either on the raceway or the multi-cable that are closest to the fixture. It just makes the installation easier. <clears throat> okay, let's think a little bit now about what these lights are actually going to do in the design. If I were to look kind of closely at this, I see that this is a warm front light downstage left. And then as I move down here, this one is the warm front down left center. So this is one lighting area in a color, and this is the lighting area right next to that. And if I go on down here a little bit more, <clears throat> I see the channel uh, that this next light is the down center. So I have three lighting areas that are right next to each other, right, on stage as far as their focus and their purpose. They're all the same color. It's the down left area, down left center area, and the down center area. And I'm going to want those to be, those are going to need to work together. There are times that I'm going to need to turn all of them on at full to make a big, you know, happy front light wash, right? And there are times where I'm going to need to isolate them. <clears throat> so from a designer, I really do want to be able to, to um, put them in a manageable, uh, a manageable layout. I don't want to have to remember their dimmer assignment of 161 plus 158 plus, oh my God, what's this one? 156B? Yes, this venue has A and B dimmers for each circuit. So now I not only have to remember the number, I have to remember whether or not it's an A or a B. And trying to manage that would be a nightmare, right? None of my numbers would line up. So as a designer, I want to organize my numbers in a more logical way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this to be channel, console channel number 21. This will be console channel number 22, and this will be console channel number 23. They're just going to work in a logical order. Now I don't have to remember 168 plus 153 plus 159A. Bah, I just don't, I don't care. 
All I want to remember is channel 21, 22, and 23. And I know that channel 21 is down left, 23 is down center, and I will bet you that 25 is downstage right. So now the information, those numbers line up to logical things for me. Now, if I were to go ahead and skip up, right, a set of channels, maybe I go into the 40s. Channel 41 might be downstage left, but in a different color. And 42 is going to be down left center, but in a different color. And 43 will be down center in a different color. So now all of my number ones all correspond to downstage left, whether that's channel 1, channel 11, channel 21, channel 31, channel 51, doesn't, whatever is ending in a one, and that's not pure, that's not absolute, but generally speaking, all I have to remember in my primary acting area is that I have to just remember one through five, and if I want the blue wash, I turn on channel 51, right? 51 through 55, right? Okay, so that's patch. Patch is how we make a relationship in the console between a, a, a control channel and a dimmer output. It's as simple as that. All we're going to do is tell the light board, when I type in number 26, I want you to, rather than control dimmer 26, I want you to control dimmer 161. It's literally that simple. It's just swapping numbers. Instead of controlling the number that I typed in, I want that number to relate to a different number so that I can make logical sense of the numbers that I'm typing in. I can make that translation once. I can enter it and then it remains fixed for the entire show. Now, there's something kind of unique about patch. If I can do that, then that means I could assign multiple dimmers to a single channel. I could assign dimmer 162 and 159 and 155, and they could all go into channel number one. Now, I lose individual control of those dimmers, but when I bring up channel one, all three of those dimmers are gonna respond identically. It's particular, particularly useful for, say, psych lights, where I have a whole bunch of dimmers that run the psych lights, but I have one channel and I want the entire psych to go blue. Or I have another channel and I want the entire psych to go red. But those may control four or five or six individual dimmers to be able to accommodate all the high wattage fixtures that are lighting that cyclorama. So, I can have many dimmers in a control channel. I can have multiple dimmers in a control channel. And they don't have to be sequential. I, they can be individual and unique. I don't have individual control over them any longer. Now, the reverse is not true. I cannot put a dimmer into multiple channels. I can't put a single dimmer into multiple channels. I cannot have channel number one control dimmer 159 and control channel seven control dimmer 159. The console will not allow it. The dimmer is only going to appear in the list once. Pick the channel you want it to go into, and that's where it's going to be for the entirety of the show. Now, that's Patch in its most simplistic form, and I think I'll pause this video now so I could go blow my nose, and then I will come back to you and we'll talk a little bit about uh, moving fixtures and LEDs and things that take more than one address. I'll see you soon.